Good morning. Today we leave our our condo here in London and I think we're gonna go to Burton. It's another town in England. Mia Beth has a friend here. Okay, now that all our stuff's out, I'll show you around. It's really cute little little loft or flat. It's got these really cool like brick walls. They asked us to leave the windows just a crack open to kind of keep the ventilation going. So I'm actually supposed to be leaving them open. And it does feel amazing. It's so nice and cool here in England. This is what I will miss most, this bathroom. This tub was amazing. There's no shower here. So James wasn't quite as thrilled, but I love a bath. So that bath has been my favorite bath on this whole trip. Okay, we're on the road again. And we are going to Stonehenge. We were like, should we go to the Rowan Baths? Should we go to Stonehenge? I think we're gonna do both at some point, but for right now, we're gonna start heading towards Stonehenge. We do not have a place to stay tonight. We might be camping in the car. We haven't decided yet. Be so uncomfortable. This car is not big enough, but um, we'll figure it out. So we are driving towards Stonehenge and we are making a pit stop at Windsor Castle. We needed to go ahead and make a bathroom stop and saw the signage. So we're going to go ahead and see if we can um, just kind of drive through the premises, maybe um, go see it inside depending on the wait and how long it takes. I do know from the tour yesterday at Westminster Abbey that the remains of Queen Elizabeth the current one, the one that just passed away, that she's buried here at Windsor Castle. We're almost to Windsor Castle. We made a slight detour and Lucy got a new sweater and a toy that she cannot chew the stuffing out of because she's chewed up her toys. Okay, this is St. John Baptist of Windsor and this is this building with a cool statue on it. It's a museum and information center. Okay, here is the castle. Windsor Castle, so big. It's made of Nathan, it's made of all that we find. Electric, feel it in your hands. Hypnotic, watch our body stand. Happiness, this is what we say. I always think it'd be neat to do a, I guess a boat boat journey through England and go through the different locks and little English towns. I think that'd be really fun. So we drove around Windsor Palace or Windsor Castle and absolutely ginormous, huge castle. Probably the biggest one I've ever seen. We're not going to go inside. It's just really, really crazy and we have to park and and we've seen so many castles lately. We're just not really dying to see another castle right now. So what we're most excited about doing today is going to see Stonehenge. Stonehenge. We're about less than an hour away now. And they're open till 7. So we, we'd like to do that today. And then um, depending on where we stay... Tomorrow, I think we're gonna look at the old Roman baths. So they used to be thermal hot baths that the king and different, 
that wealthy aristocrats and stuff would would bathe in they aren't working anymore from my understanding the water isn't as pure so there's a lot of paid spas around the area where you can go to different thermal hot springs um, we won't most likely be doing that because you have to book days in advance and um, we don't have that kind of time and we do hot springs all the time so if we can find one that's like a what we call a hippie spring just basically anybody can hop in we'll probably do that if not we really want to see the ancient Roman hot springs baths those would be really cool to see So we're in Lark Hill, just outside of Stonehenge in Salisbury. We are about five minutes away from Stonehenge. Okay, we've made it. Looks like we got a Hike all the way over here somewhere. What is she wearing? She's got a Lucy's that? got a sweater. What is that? Because we got sweaters on. What is that? Right. Somebody told Daddy. That's what holds it, it on her legs. Like So we arrived in the nick of time. It is getting crazy busy, and we take a shuttle drive there. And James and the girls are getting coffee. Coffee and mochas for us to drink on the shuttle right there. If you don't take the shuttle, it's about a 20 minute walk. We are opting to take the shuttle. It is an option when you um, come here and pay to do that. Some people do prefer to walk. Thanks for waiting, guys. Thank you. Okay, it's our turn to get on. We're first in line. Double check. I'm not gonna be able to park right here. Okay, we're gonna see if we can park here. James doesn't know if we can, but we're really close to these Roman baths. Okay, so we just got parked here. We're gonna go see the Roman baths, and this is the church we're parked in front of. You get to see this stuff all over Europe, it's everywhere. Okay, so we're in Bath. It's a town in England. And we were coming here to stop by and see the Roman tubs, but we have decided to stay here for a couple days because we like the area. So that's what we've decided to do. And then we have 
kind of come up with an idea with what we're gonna do after that. Um, so it's nice to kind of have a course, but let me show you our flat. So we do have a shower this time. James will be happy. It's just a little, just a little apartment. It sits over a store called Boots. Very simple, small, it was open. It's walking distance to the Roman tubs. Literally um, about less than two minutes. That's how close we are. And there's a spa there that we're gonna go to one day as well. Good morning, welcome to the vlog. We just woke up and opening the blinds. Here is our little view from Bath. From Bath, not Bath, Bath. Okay, so we have a really full day today. We have packed schedules. This is what it looks like. 1.30, Roman Bass. 2 o'clock, the Thermo Spa. 6.45, 7, Mia Bess, call with her teacher. 7.30, call with our editor. 8 o'clock, dinner in the square. So, we got a big day. Come on, guys. So you get a little cell phone thing that guides you through. Okay, this is our little map of the whole area. And they have different kind of guides. So you know what is what. So here's pillars. And then when you get to different areas, you can dial in these numbers and they'll give you a description on the area you're in. So this is the museum part that we're about to go into. There's Mia Beth. Mia Beth's gotten ahead of us. <laughs> And that's the end. There's the gift shop. Okay, so we've all finished our tour of the Roman baths. And now we're gonna just go see about getting some refreshments and light appetizers. 
So we picked Boom. this little area called the Georgian Tea Room. And it's really cute. Let me show you around. Okay, so Madison, what did you get? Corn Cornary chicken. Cornary chicken. And then Neva got the ham and cheese croissant. My food is about to be here. I got the steak pie. It's like a steak pot pie. And then we got this um, broccoli cheese bake for us all to share. We just finished our lunch at that really wonderful cafe and some of the best food we've had in England so far. And now we are gonna go to the one still working spring spa in this area to where it is still from the water that the Romans used to bathe in, but it's a new spa that is being used today, more modernized. So our whole family has booked two hours there today. but we are excited nonetheless to get into some hot spring water. Sid, it's closed. Hello, little bird. So we just finished at the Roman bath, well, at the thermal spa here in Bath, England. And let me tell you, it was amazing. It had all the luxury stuff like steam rooms and ice baths and saunas and more steam rooms and mint scented steam rooms and rooftop thermal spa, underground with columns, um, large thermal spa pool. It was co-ed, the whole family could go. I feel like we're really living in luxury at this bathhouse. It's amazing. You have to check out this place. It is so nice. Okay, we just got back. Mibas getting ready to do a class and then we're gonna get some dinner. Okay, so I kind of got to where we felt we were rushed. We had to get Mibas back for a Zoom meeting. But, um, so the, the Roman bathhouse was phenomenal. And the thermal spa that we went to was kind of like they don't have the Roman spa open anymore. It's a historic thing. So this is a way to still offer this. It's the same water that was used in that, the Roman spa before, except now it's a more updated. Even though we're in England, you can have a Roman spa experience in Bath. And well, you know what they say, when in England, do as the Romans do. Okay, tonight we're gonna be e eating English food again. We're at a place called Bill's. Ooh, look at this, yummy. And then you do something like this. Right here. Ooh. So we got so excited about eating, I forgot to record our menu or what we got to eat. Like, it's all almost gone. Two times of our. Two times. Two times. Yeah. James and I split a meal and then we got like some fun appetizers. We got, it's a dumpling. And it comes with like this sauce. It's really good. Madison has more of her food left. But we got chicken and mashed potatoes, and then we got it's cauliflower. <laughs> cauliflower. One thing I've noticed is the English eat a lot of cauliflower. It's been on a lot of menus. Okay, we're all done with dinner. Time to head back to our flat for the last night, and then we are heading to what's it called Brighton. Yep, Brighton Beach. Brighton Beach. It'll be our last night in England. We're excited to see this new area and we're staying at a hotel, so I should get some high-speed internet, which will be very nice. Racing through the ways I want to be Where nobody knows We are here. Well, good night. We'll see you in the morning. Good morning. It is the day we leave Bath 
and we are going to be heading to Brighton. Okay, so we came back to this tea room. We really liked it. And this is our view There's right so now. The it. Roman baths. And there's the Abbey. And then we got these beautiful flowers. So um, James really wants to try our food that we had yesterday. It's all he thought about. Yep. Well, that and a, about. Some shark, yeah. shark dragon last night in my dream. Yeah. It kind of hijacked my uh, sandwich dream. Seriously, though, can you guys please leave a little for me? We're all just in the same table. Okay, James, how does your food look? Looks great. We really want to see you try the sandwich. Okay. You Lucy, no begging for food. Okay, so I'm in Bath, England, and I ordered an egg and cheese croissant, which to us Americans means like a fried egg, some cheese, and, a, and then on a croissant, right? Like a sandwich. This is what I got. Oh, and I said hash browns. So this is what I got. I got a croissant with a very thick slice of cheese on it. I got this little bowl of what <laughs> seems to be egg salad and I got what we would probably call a potato cake. So it all looks really delicious, but very different than what I would have expected when ordering this meal. Probably not the most ideal time to see corn circles, being that all the corn has been harvested. I made it. Here it is. So we got about an hour left and we are stopping very quickly at a McDonald's to do a potty break and I guess get little snacks. Okay, we just arrived and there's the beach and here's our hotel. So I'm gonna go get us checked in. Okay, here we go to our hotel. I used points for this one. We go this way, 192. Okay, here's our room, what do you think? Gorgeous. Here it is. Pretty, pretty bathroom. Pretty living area. This oh, makes why does the stand look like that? Oh, see what's behind that door. To another door. So, James is doing a call with Josh, our editor, and trying to call the girls. So the girls crossed the street and went to the beach, but I sent them a picture of our pool here. It's really, really nice. And I guess they decided to come to the pool, so I'm gonna go meet them. So after having to ask, I think I found the floor. I can definitely smell the pool. Here it is, I found it. So we made it back to our hotel. How are you and Madison going to sleep on there? I don't know. <laughs> it's a very small bed. We got this ginormous room in like the smallest bed. And maybe it's just an English thing. But the sun's starting to go down. 
it kind of makes me think of our beaches the way the pastel colors are so Madison and I are gonna go out to dinner just down in the lobby Mia Beth is going to FaceTime her BFF and James is at the gym we are off to grab a bite to eat just gonna be a low-key evening we had a great time at the spa. They had steam rooms here and they had a sauna, a pool, and a hot tub. I know this is where they do breakfast, but I don't think, I don't think it's a restaurant. Okay, Madison found it. Oh, how cute is this? They said we could sit at this booth. Okay, well, we're gonna do a wrap for this evening. We will see you tomorrow. Okay, it's morning and we are heading down for the buffet. Okay, the breakfast here is a big hit or the hotel is really packed. There's a huge line just to get in to get food. We had to sit over here in the back room, but the breakfast looks amazing. Let me show you around. So fruit. Milk and cereals, some porridge, and James is indulging in the breads. Mm -hmm. And we got all the hot stuff. Pan, sausages, eggs, mushrooms, beans, and hash browns. Bagels and toasts with toasters. Over here is the grill where he does the fried eggs and omelets. And then here's the juice station with apple juice, water, and orange juice. It's really pretty with a beach view as well. Good morning. We are in Brighton. We just finished breakfast at the hotel and we are getting everything packed up to get back on the road. Today we are going to be making our way to Paris. It's a five and a half hour drive, which requires, to, requires us to go through the channel which is a underground waterway that literally goes under the ocean. So we will be doing that for the first time. We weren't able to do it on the way to England. We had to do the ferry, but we have pre-purchased our tickets. So hopefully we won't have any problems and can make it back over to France today. We're gonna go spend three days in Paris. The family wants to go back to Paris. It's I believe are probably probably our favorite city so far um mia beth is looking forward to the hotel that was in the mall had amazing breakfast and madison has never seen the eiffel tower and that's been a dream of hers so we're gonna go see we'll spend a little bit more probably touring the eiffel tower this time and then james really wants to go see the catacombs and um yeah so that's pretty much it in a nutshell so today will be just about five to six hours of driving and then in between travel time waiting. We probably won't get to our hotel until eight o'clock this evening. So it's going to be a late day, but um, we are excited to make our next venture. And each trip gets us a little bit closer to meeting my parents back in Barcelona where we will board our boat. Where we'll be living for the next 10 months on the Mediterranean Sea. Is it this one? Okay, we're in the car. We're on our way to Channel and then to Paris. So we're really excited about doing this Channel because we didn't get to do it last time. We're gonna go on an underground tra train conveyor belt thingy majiggy that's gonna take us 
from England straight over to France. Okay, we've been driving for a couple hours now and we just made it to Le Shuttle. That's what they call it. Here we are. Okay, so we just got a ticket that says go to pet reception. It identified us maybe by our license plate. I don't know. But like our names, we drove up and our names showed up on the screen. Because we registered online before. Yeah, we registered online, so it must have noticed our license plate number and then gave us a ticket to go talk to the pet people. Okay, we're here. We're gonna park, get our paperwork, heading to the pet reception. Okay, we're in here now. We did her little scan and we're just about done. Lucy. She's traveling all over this place. Hey. We're in the pet check-in area. Uh, when you first walk in, before you walk into the restaurant area. Okay, that is all done. We are good to go. We got our tickets. We actually are leaving a little bit earlier. They are able to get us on an earlier train. And since we've worked through the process, we'd rather get on the road. So we don't arrive too late to our hotel in Paris. So we have about an hour until we have to aboard. Go get us some coffee, okay? okay. And don't be too dramatic about it. So James got Dulce Gabbana, the only one. And Ooh, I got my that. regular. It smells so good. Mm, yeah, it smells really good. The girls are using this stuff. Now, right here in front of you, this is the technology that was used to create the Euro Tunnel, now coined Lay, Tun Lay Shuttle. James is going to double check, but there could be a correction. It's the Euro Tunnel, and the Shuttle might be the train. I don't know. So, the change of the name has just been recent within the last couple months. There is a new CEO. But another interesting fact we just found out is the tunnel is French owned. There we go. The signs say France this way. We had such a good time in England. It was good seeing people that spoke our language. It was, yeah, that was a good relief. That was a nice little break, but we're excited to go to France. We love the food and you know what we do? I think it's a really pretty language. So it's been very organized. Like it has been stress free, hasn't it? Yeah, real easy. We just showed them our tickets and our passports. We had to put this thing on the windshield. But they are very organized and they're wearing gloves. So they had pointed us where to go. Then the and the um they took our passports, it was organized coming into this lane. So I was kind of reiterating how organized they were before the security guy came came in here and put some wand around the steering wheel to check it and then ask some questions about firearms and stuff you know the normal stuff but getting through there was easy then when we were done with there I had another guy guard say go that way to lane one then we came to lane one and lane one lady had white gloves on you know pointing us in the right direction and now we're in line waiting to get through customs i believe in france okay we're past security we're officially on in um the hands of France and we have gotten our stamps. So maybe too bright that one. So I literally just said 
we should be moving because they said 318 and then all of a sudden I woke up and we're actually moving. You can't, you can barely fill it. And I have heard that this is the way it's gonna fill the whole way, that it's just really nice and smooth. How was the 35 minute journey? It wasn't bad at all. Not at all. Did you I, say it was hot? It's a little warm. It's hot. Yeah, yeah. I think we're all dealing with the heat. Yeah, James is literally sweating. Yeah, you can see that. Yeah, I liked it. I didn't really do a whole lot. I didn't get out of the car. I didn't, um, I mean, I stood up for a brief minute, but yeah, definitely seems faster than the ferry. Oh yeah, the ferry was an hour and yeah. a half. Okay, so we are just about an hour out of Paris and we have not eaten since this morning at the buffet. So we pulled over at a little town called like Beavis or something. <laughs> I don't know how you pronounce that, but it's a funny word. Anyways, we're here to get some dinner. Look how cute this little area is. Just got like little flowers. Madison modeling for me. It's just so pretty. And then they have this like fountain area. Okay, so we landed at this little Italian place. It's called Little Italy. There's Paris, baby! There's the Eiffel Tower. Okay, so we are almost there, but from what I remember, it was really hard to drive around in France. So hopefully we'll be able to make good time and we don't sit in traffic forever. But it's a little after 10 o'clock, so maybe it's slowed down. But who am I kidding? And we're in Paris, it never slows down. Okay, we just got to the parking area. It was crazy because the entry gate wasn't working. James had to run upstairs just to find out that the that we actually take the exit to get in. We're back in Paris. We are. 434. The family room. Oh, we have the view of the mall. That's what I kind of wanted most, to make sure we got that view again. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Who's ready for Paris today? Who's ready for Paris? So today we are going to go get some lunch, go downtown, Madison and I are gonna go exploring today. James and me and Beth are gonna go to brunch with us and then come back to do school. And Madison and I are gonna go out by ourselves because this is her first time in Paris and she doesn't have to do school like me and Beth does. And then tonight I think we're going to do, um, since we only have a couple days here in Paris, we are gonna do a bus tour this evening if we can still get on one so Madison can get kind of the crash course on Paris and all the neat buildings and sights to see. Okay, we're all set to go out. We got our outfits on for Paris and we're gonna go find some food and navigate through the subways. 
Okay, so this is the mall that's underneath our room. We absolutely love this place. It's our second time coming to this hotel because it's just got everything here, but it's also away from the city a little bit, but it's a quick subway ride in and you can take the one, which is their newest, cleanest metro system. These things always fascinate me because they're 100% contained environments that create their own air quality, whether it's carbon monoxide, oxygen, it feeds back and forth by the organisms. So we got our tickets for the subway. They had something special still from the Olympics. It's a little bit more, but it covers the subways, the trains, and the buses. So that's kind of cool. We didn't do the buses last time. A little bit more money. Four of us cost $128 and um, it's just for two days. Okay, we're gonna exit towards Hotel, Hotel, Hotel DeVille. Their subways are so clean, at least on the one. Oh my word. Look at Hotel DeVille, still decked out for the Olympics. Are they still No, it's over. Oh man, this looks like it was a grand show. They still have the setup. Okay, we are back at the cafes. Okay, we're at a restaurant dog friendly it's called benedict's it serves brunch we looked at the menu online before we got here it looked really good okay we're all done with our brunch and we're gonna go do some shopping Okay, we found a little shop. This is the way it looks. And I'm in the dressing room. I'm gonna try on a few things. So one is a pink bathing suit. The next is a kind of like a cover-up sundress, but it's zebra print, very African. And then I got this long-sleeved kind of aqua dress. Okay, this is it. It's so cute. Okay, I'm gonna go with the bathing suit and this dress. And I think Madison found a few things too. Okay, we came to this area for the bargains, um, but that last place ended up being really expensive. So we had to leave my beautiful dress behind. But we're stopping at a new place. Okay, we just hit the jackpot. We stopped at this little place called um, Lobby and I got a white hat for the boat. And um, I got a cover up and I got me a dress for Greece. That's that really pretty royal blue. And Madison got two dresses. That is the new hat and Madison's one of our new dresses and show them your purse. And I got this dress to wear in Greece. It made me think of the colors of the buildings. Okay, so it's the evening time here in Paris. We are venturing out for dinner. It's about 8.30 at night. James has been at the hotel doing school and working at the gym and hanging out with me about today. And Madison and I went shopping and we just returned back and we're going to go out for a little bit just to go to dinner and maybe see the Eiffel Tower sparkling tonight. Okay, we're gonna be going towards Boise, the Saint Leather. We so butcher these words. Okay, so we've made it to Charles de Gaulle and we are gonna head now to the bus. We're not as familiar with the bus but it can be done. Well, it looks like we're going up. That's always a good sign. So we weren't going the right way. We aren't even close to an exit. I think we're gonna have to go back the way we came. Okay, it does say we either go straight this way 
Okay, there we go. Sortie, this way. Okay, we can feel the wind on our face. <laughs> That's a good sign. I just want to point out, these subways are squeaky clean. Look at this. Look at how clean. For a subway, this is crazy clean. Good job. Good job, Paris. We're getting closer. Sortie, sortie, sortie. Okay, we're just about out of here. So close. They charged us an extra ticket just to leave the subway to come here after we already paid to get on the subway. We have never ending passes um, for the next two days, so it doesn't, doesn't really affect us, but I would imagine that would really annoy people. Okay, now we're gonna actually convert now to a bus to get to this restaurant. We um, usually do the subways only, but the passes we got include all the metro transportations. So that it can be go. metro or bus. It will make for less walking, which will be nice. And sometimes you're on the subway too. You have to get, when you get from one train to the next train, you gotta go all the way out, come all the way around the other side, come back, come, and then get on the, go through the process again. A lot of tunnels, a lot of stairways, a lot of steps. So this yeah. is definitely the best way to do the bus train combo. Okay, here's our bus stop right here. It's gonna be here in like two minutes. So we wanna be able to cross the road and get there before the bus. Okay, we did it. I have gotten them mixed up already once. <laughs> okay, we made it on the bus. Okay, now to find the restaurant. I think I'm walking in a road and I have been hit by a bike in Paris before. Okay, now we'll see if we can get in. Um, Madison, you take this one because that seat's gonna be awkward. So this is a chicken Caesar salad and then they brought us like a thing of some bread that we've already partially devoured. <laughs> We're going home and going to bed. Okay, we gotta figure out how to get back and James has a meeting in 30 minutes. Yeah, at 11 o'clock at night. Cause <laughs> yeah, because in the, in, in the TV they went, what? What? <laughs> you just said, yeah. We just got skipped by the bus. Who's driving this bus? Maybe this, there's another one coming. So we're having to walk down to another stop. Okay, so we completely messed up on this whole bus thing. The whole bus is like shut down or something, but look what's in my background. Look at that car. Two different bus stops got rejected. We had to go to, this is subway entry number three, and we're finally getting to enter. Okay, we're on the subway in almost home now. Okay, we made it to our stop. It's the last stop of the subway. Okay, we made it. You want to see the key works? Well, I, didn't I don't. It. I feel a need to go to the potty. Oh, yeah, we made it. Good night. We made it. Good night. We are going into the catacombs, which is an underground skeleton domain. Ooh. So just to give you an idea, there's the metro. And we're all the way down here. 